Hello, so today I kind of want to talk about sports. So recently, uh, Thursday was early access to MLB The Show 2024, and I was watching some people play this morning and yesterday, and to me, the game just looked like it just has a new menu color, some different font, and nothing else, to be honest, you know, just a new price tag. You know, they talked about old graphics. So they changed to where the hair looks better on a lot of the um, talent, I guess you could say, the baseball players. But most of the time you don't see the hair because they have hats on. Okay, so I was talking to some people in their streams earlier. And I wanted to see what their opinions was. And some of them agreed. One big streamer, he actually banned me for saying something about it. And... You know, I think he was getting paid by the studio to play the game. So, yeah, it is what it is. And it, I think it's crazy that we're still paying for sh uh, sports games that are just the exact same every year for the most part. And just have a new menu color or not much has changed. And, you know, I know a lot of people that play MLB The Show. Well, not a lot. I know a couple of people that play MLB The Show. They would disagree with me, but... I'm going to stick to my opinion. And I think sports games are almost a scam now. Because you're not getting no change. And they're they're advertising as if they've reamped the entire game. Oh my god, look at this. We've added a new pitching style. Or a new celebration or whatever. And I just don't think that requires an entirely new game. I think that could be an update. And you no, know, they do the... I think if they do the updates to one game... And then they can, over a year or two, build an actually good game. Or two to three years. Build a game that is tremendously better. And I think you would have so many more people kind of getting the game. Okay. What I've noticed with MLB The Show. And yes, I'm picking on MLB The Show a lot right now. But the community is so tight-knit. And, you know, I'm not going to say the MLB The Show community can sometimes be crybabies but they're very in a way gatekeeping the game and they want it to I guess be a certain way and the studio doesn't listen to them in my opinion there have been bugs in 23 22 and there's bugs already in 24 you know some things that should have been fixed that can be fixed but will never be fixed to me San Diego Studios does not care about their players they care about getting a buck one thing I really disagree with them on and that's a little off topic, but that was called a legend edition of the game. This year it is to celebrate the Negro Leagues of MLB. And those that don't know about it, the Negro Leagues are a league um, back a long time ago uh, that were only black because they were not allowed in the normal MLB. But so they did an edition of the game. Uh, for the Negro Leagues, which I think is amazing. 100% amazing. And, you know, they donate some money to the Negro League Museum, which, again, is amazing. Okay, the addition cost $120, uh, maybe a little bit more, and they donate a dollar for each one sold. Okay, but wait, that's not, there's also a limited number of them sold. So, you put a limit on how many are sold, okay, and then you... Just donate a dollar out of that. I I personally believe the studio can donate more. But that's my opinion. You know, people will disagree with it and I'm fine with that. But yeah, you know, I still stand with what I'm saying. You know, the game studios that make the sports games, they don't care. They really don't. They're just giving you the same game over and over again. And people will continue buying it just like Call of Duty. But hey, tell me what you think in the comment section. And yeah, see you next time.